Dear Marie, I'm writing to tell you a tale about my time down south. This winter has been hard. I've needed to hunt more and eat more just to keep warm. I swear the skinning would make you wince. Supposedly it's the coldest one in years, and I don't doubt that for a second. Anyways, there's two things I wanted to talk to you about. Both happened during the height of winter. As you know, I'm living here off the land, so sometimes I gotta do things that I might not like for money. I know you'd find another way from all the killing, and that's why I love you, but for me, I just don't know what else I could do. The first story I got took place in the swamp. I met a man who set up camp on the outskirts of the deep parts of the marsh. He said his girl was being held ransom, and I couldn't help think of you. He didn't have the money, so he called me. A stranger over to help him. His name was Jimmy, and he put his trust in me that night. As I got near, I managed to get the drop on one guy, but they caught me. Panic hit me like a storm. A firefight erupted. But luckily, I'm the one writing to you today. And the girls seem fine. This is just another goddamn nightmare. Who are you? Did Jimmy send you? Whatever, hardly matters right now. We need to get the hell out of here. She was a little shooken up, but was happy enough to follow me. got on my horse and began to ride back. Having her on the back reminded me of you. She'd even got her hair in a long braid. I remember riding around the prairie with you on hot summer days. You soon hear gunfire. I wasn't about to let her get got again. I waited on the other side of the river. Luckily, I saw the first one before it saw me. And the second one, well, let's just say he wasn't fast enough. Ain't right. Second I'm anything but miserable, I get taken by some coats. She was angry with her partner when we got back. I'd like to think if it was me, you'd run right into my arms. But I guess love is mysterious and works in different ways for different kinds of people. It's getting late now, Marie, but I'll write you again tomorrow. So, I reckon it's time you paid the competition a visit to remind them just how risky it really is. You know what to do. Dear Marie, my second story for you isn't really uplifting. You remember those guys I've been chasing? Well, turned out they were running a moonshine operation out in the desert further west. It took me a week or so to find out their exact whereabouts, but I finally found them, pinned down in the middle of nowhere. I thought about playing it safe and taking them out from a distance, but this was personal. I didn't care if I died here. I ran with reckless abandon, as you'd say.
The scary part was in the bullets whizzing past me. Or the threat at the end. It was how much I enjoyed it. I write you again, Summary. Damn Marie, I'm sorry it's been so long since I last broke. Things have been getting hard again. It's been a long time since that day. I'll never forget it. I dream about it still, and I miss you every day. I'm sorry I wasn't strong enough to save you. Things are so different now. Hell, I've changed so much. I'm not sure you'd still love me. I need to stop writing you. Expecting one day you'll write back. You're gone. And the men who did it are dead. Ain't nothing left here for me no more.